Let's look at solving rational equations. For example, let's solve this equation for x. The first thing we'll do is multiply both sides of the equation by this denominator here, which gives us 3 times x minus 4 is equal to negative 6 divided by x minus 4 times x minus 4. And the x minus 4s on the right will cancel as long as x does not equal 4, which would leave us with 3 times x minus 4 is equal to negative 6. And now we'll distribute the 3 to both of these two terms, which gives us 3x minus 12 is equal to negative 6. And then we'll add 12 to both sides which gives us 3x is equal to negative 6 plus 12, or positive 6. And then dividing both sides by 3 gives us x is equal to 2. Now when solving rational equations, it's very important to check your answer and make sure that it doesn't make the denominator here 0. And it doesn't. The only excluded value is x equal to 4. So x equal to 2 would work and would be our answer. All right, let's look at another example. Let's solve this equation for y. Again, we'll begin in a similar way and multiply both sides of the equation by this denominator here, y minus 2, which gives us y minus 2 times 1 minus y minus 3 divided by y minus 2 is equal to y minus 2 times 2y minus 3 divided by y minus 2. And now we'll distribute the y minus 2 to both of these terms, which gives us y minus 2 times 1 plus y minus 2 times negative y minus 3 divided by y minus 2 is equal to y minus 2 times 2y minus 3 divided by y minus 2. And again, we can cancel these common factors of y minus 2 on both the left and the right-hand side, assuming, of course, that y does not equal 2, which leaves us with y minus 2 times 1, which is y minus 2, and then we have minus this whole quantity, y minus 3, is equal to 2y minus 3. And distributing our negative gives us y minus 2 minus y plus 3 is equal to 2y minus 3. And combining like terms on the left, we have y minus y is 0, and negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So we have 1 is equal to 2y minus 3 or adding 3 to both sides, we get 2y is equal to 1 plus 3, or 4, which means y is equal to 2. However, remember that we have to check our answer and make sure that it's not the excluded value up here. And sure enough, it is. If y is equal to 2, then we'd be dividing by 0. So we need to cross off y equal to 2 is a possibility here, which means that there's no solution here. All right, let's see one more example. Let's solve the following equation for w. Now, what are we going to be multiplying both sides of this equation by? What we need to do is determine what the least common multiple of these denominators is, or the least common denominator, which we can do by factoring these denominators first. So doing this gives us 2w minus 1 divided by the first denominator factors into w plus 3 times w plus 3 is equal to 1 divided by and now here we can factor out a w, and we're left with 
w plus 3. And then we still have this plus 2 divided by w. So the least common denominator then, or the least common multiple of these denominators, is w times w plus 3 times w plus 3, which is what we're going to need to multiply both sides of this equation by. That is, we have w times w plus 3 times w plus 3 times 2w minus 1 divided by w plus 3 times w plus 3 is equal to w times w plus 3 times w plus 3 times 1 divided by w times w plus 3 plus 2 divided by w. And now we'll distribute this entire product here to both of these terms which gives us w times w plus 3 times w plus 3 times 2w minus 1 divided by w plus 3 times w plus 3 is equal to w times w plus 3 times w plus 3 times 1 divided by w times w plus 3 plus w times w plus 3 times w plus 3 times 2 divided by w. And again, we can cancel these common factors both on the left and right, assuming, of course, that w does not equal negative 3. And as long as w is not 0, we can also cancel these common factors here, which leaves us with don't forget this w out here, w times 2w minus 1 is equal to w plus 3 times 1, or w plus 3, and then plus, and then we have 2 times w plus 3 times w plus 3. And then distributing the w gives us 2w squared minus w is equal to w plus 3 plus 2 times and then foiling this out gives us w squared plus 6w plus 9. Or 2w squared minus w is equal to w plus 3. And then distributing the 2 gives us plus 2w squared plus 12w plus 18. And now the 2w squareds will cancel. And now we can bring all the w terms to the left-hand side, which gives us negative w, and then minus w is negative 2w, and then minus 12w gives us negative 14w is equal to 3 plus 18, which is 21. So w is equal to negative 21 divided by 14, or negative 3 halves. But remember, we have to check and make sure that this does not make our denominators up here 0. And it doesn't. The only excluded values would be w equal to 0 or negative 3. So this is our answer then. w is equal to negative 3 halves. And this is how we solve rational equations. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.